Guy has slash Trinity isn't biblical. Who's the son and the Holy Spirit to Mr. Lawson? The biblical Unitarian stance. I don't want this just to be a, a I, John Lawson, made a new doctrine. Check me out. <laughs> <laughs> the, the biblical Unitarian stance is that the Father alone is Yahweh, the Most High Creator Almighty. The, the Son, which is a Hebrew, uh, another title for the Messiah, and also for one who's directly created by the Father, like Adam was called the son of God in the lineage, I believe Luke. Um, Yeshua is the son. He's directly created by Yahweh with the virgin birth, but also he is the Messiah and the king. Um, when you see the kings of Israel like Solomon and David and so on, he says, you are my son. Okay, so it's a covenant type language. Yeshua is the son of Yahweh, the firstborn, the head of the assembly, the head of Israel. And he is the most important person to the Father, but he is not Yahweh. Yeah, I think with this topic, understanding agency, I know you got a slide on that. We can get into it later. If you if you can really wrap your brain around that concept, that really helps with understanding with this topic as a whole. Because that, yeah. that's important to understand that. Yeah, and a lot of language like in John 3 and John 5, Yeshua speaks in a way where he's an agent. He comes in the name of the Father. He represents yeah. the Father. He says things like, I do not speak on my own behalf, but only what the Father tells me. I cannot do anything without the Father. The Father is the one who does miracles through me, just like in Acts 2.22 and in other places. He says that we saw these signs and wonders that were done by the Father through Yeshua. So the Father is the one who's orchestrating and doing everything, and, the, and Yeshua is the representative and mouthpiece of the father yeah and a real world example is so let's say we're at we're at war with somebody and that they would label that as so we're at war with trying not to say a certain <laughs> certain countries because we don't get dinged uh we'll just say oh. china china why not so the u.s is at war with china and they would label that as biden's war but he's not there on the front line shooting a gun or dropping missiles, but it still labeled his war because his mm -hmm. agents, those soldiers, are out there doing their thing for him. But it's still labeled as Biden's war. So yeah, that's a, that's a real world example of agency. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, think somebody. about it like if uh, you know if I was a little boy and I got two siblings outside playing in the playground, and my mom tells me supper's ready, go get your 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 brother and sister. It's time to eat. All right. Well, I go get them, and they say, "No, I ain't listening to you. You're just my brother." I says, "But Mama said." Okay, they're yeah. like, no, I don't believe you. You're just you're just my brother. You're annoying. Go away. So I come back home and I say, they, they're not coming home. They're not listening. She's not going to take that as, oh, they didn't listen to you, but they'll listen. To, no, not listening to me as the messenger, ambassador, and mouthpiece of the mother yeah. is just as the same as not listening to the mom herself. Yahweh says that in the desert, right? He says, I put this angel before you at a pillar of light, a pillar of smoke, and, you know, if you do not listen to him, I put my name and my word in him. If you don't listen to him, it's as if you didn't listen to me. Same thing with a babysitter. When we were kids, our parents went out for a dinner anniversary or something. They put a babysitter in charge and they looked at us and they said, you listen to this person. And if you don't, you're going to have to answer to me because I put them in charge. So not listening to this babysitter is like you're not listening to me. It's agency. Yeah, It's simple, but yet really hard sometimes to wrap our heads around when it comes to the Messiah. 